I'm over in the gallery, and a number of you have asked that uh, carving a buffalo skull would be a good project to do, so I thought maybe we'd try to work that in here, being as I don't have, really have much time now to uh, do a full figure. Anyway, here's the buffalo skull that I did for my uh, Indian there. Zoom in on him here a little closer. I think what I'll do is just take the skull off of the off of the carving for the moment as it's loose here and uh, just take it over to the shop and we'll use it as a guide as we go along. When I made my skull, the first thing I did was come over here to the gallery and uh, take down the skull that hangs on my wall. Of course, you can't beat the real thing when you're when you're doing something like this. Now let's move over to the side. Now I can't get too close here because there's not that much room and I don't want to take that skull down. Anyway, it's missing the lower part of the skull because out in the wild, if you ever come across an animal skull, you'll probably never generally not see the lower jaw bones because some animal will have carried those things off. But uh, you can see there's some good detail on the side. And on my little skull, I tried to capture that as much as I possibly could. The teeth, the eye, the bone behind the eye, those are important. And as you can probably tell, I added a little more curve to my horns. And I also made him a little more goggle-eyed, google-eyed, goggle-eyed. Too much internet here. As you can see by mine, like I said, he's, those eyeballs for the skull come out a lot farther than they do on the one up here. So uh, I think mine makes a little bit better presentation for indicating old age than that one there, which is something I like. So anyway, I'll take the little one over to the shop and uh, we'll get ready for this thing. So for good uh, reference photos for the skull, just go on to Google, not Google, and uh, search out buffalo skulls. You'll find all kinds of photographs of them. So let's head over back to the shop. Okay, here's my pattern, which I'll put in the gallery so uh, you can get it. You can do this, should be able to do this, okay, out of a two inch thick piece of wood. I omitted the horns because we'll do those later on. They're pretty simple to draw out. So uh, I'm going to lay that pattern out on a piece of wood and then we'll cut it out over there on the bandsaw. Okay, I'm over here at the bandsaw. I've got my pattern lined out on a nice block of Heineke basswood. And uh, I squared it up here. So I'm just going to cut that little square off, make it a little more manageable to saw in this great big piece of wood. It's going to get noisy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
make this cut, I'm going to leave a little tag right there so these pieces stay together. Like that. That way you don't have to tape them back on again. square looking. We've got our go by here and we've got our pattern. The only thing that's missing are some reference photos which I'm going to go up and Google and uh, print off some. I had one but somehow I misplaced it. So anyway I'm going to get those and I'll put those in the gallery along with this pattern and in the next video we'll start roughing this fella out. So until next time I'll talk to you later.